and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. As you guys can see from the title, today I'm just going to be going through and showing you guys how to remove sutures. For those of you who do not know, I am a medical assistant. Before I get started and show you guys how to actually remove sutures, I did want to go through and touch on a few important things. And the first thing is that with suture removals and procedures similar to it, always inform the patient of how the procedure is going to go just so they know what to expect. And with suture removals in particular, I always like to mention to the patient that it is a relatively painless procedure. However, they may be a little uncomfortable and feel some tugging sensations at the suture site. And I also tell them that if at any point they need to take a break to just let me know and I can pause for a minute and give them a little break to collect themselves before going ahead and proceeding with the procedure. And lastly, but most importantly, always, always, always triple count the sutures. What I mean by that is before you even get started, look at the provider's orders, see how many sutures you have to remove, and when you first see the patient, count the sutures to make sure the numbers are the same. And then as you begin removing the sutures, count them as you remove them. And lastly, always make sure to count them at the end too. I mentioned in the video that you should put the sutures that you've taken out onto a white gauze square off to the side. And after doing this, always count to make sure you have the same number that you started with. Because there have been times, even when I've been a patient, where a suture has been missed, and I think it all comes down to people simply not counting. So I always make sure to triple check and literally count three different times. Prior to gathering all of your supplies, you need to verify the provider's orders, and since this is a procedure, you must have an order from a provider to remove the sutures. The supplies you will need for this are the provider's order, a basket to place your supplies in for transport, a chuck to lay your supplies on, disposable gloves, a suture removal kit, which usually includes suture removal scissors, tweezers or forceps, and a go square. Moving on to the procedure, once you are in the same room as the patient, put on a pair of gloves, then verify you have the correct patient and procedure. Next, lay a chuck on a flat surface close to the patient and arrange your supplies in the order you will be using them. Then take a look at the incision site where the sutures are located and make note of what you see as well as count the number of sutures you will be removing and make sure they match the number the provider ordered. Now you are going to clean the incision site using an alcohol swab, iodine, or other cleaning solution. Then place a gauze square close to the incision site to place the removed sutures on. Next, use a pair of tweezers or forceps in your non-dominant hand to gently pull up the knot and slip the tip of the scissors underneath the suture close to the skin using your dominant hand. Cut the suture as close as you can to the skin at the opposite end of the suture knot. While holding the suture knot, gently pull the suture through the tissue and place it off to the side on a gauze square. Continue taking out the sutures, skipping one in between, and applying stereo strips if ordered by the provider until all of the sutures are removed. Also be sure to educate the patient on proper cleaning and hygiene. Once all the sutures have been removed, count how many were placed on the gauze square and verify the correct number of sutures have been removed. Lastly, clean up your work area, discard any supplies, and ask the patient if they have any questions. After leaving the patient's room, locate a computer where you can document the suture removal in their medical record. The documentation should include the date and time the procedure took place, the location of the sutures and how many sutures there were in total, the date the sutures were first placed, a small description of how the site looked, and the patient's toleration or response to the procedure. Lastly, sign the documentation with the date, time, your name, and your role or credential. So that is how to remove sutures. If you guys have any questions, let me know what they are in the comments down below, and I will do my best to answer them. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. While you guys are down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload new content regularly and would love if you'd become part of our little family. Also, be sure to hit the bell so that you are in fact notified every time I do upload a new video. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.